So you know that story about the old lady who lived in a shoe? That's basically me, except it's just a point shoe. Hey guys, welcome to quarantined life here at the point shop in Oakland. If you didn't know, I actually live in my showroom. So I'm quarantined in with my point shoes right now. And at this point, I'm starting to talk to them. I'm not traveling anywhere. This is the longest time I've been in one place in the past two years. It's crazy. But anyway, I decided that I was gonna talk about uh, different types of point shoes today. And today we're gonna start out with Grishko slash Nicolay. Um, they're basically the same thing. And let me just tell you a brief history of what's going on with Grishko and Nicolay because a lot of people are confused. Mr. Grishko, he is a human, he's a person. Um, his first name is Nicolay. In the past couple of years, there's been some issues with the name in the United States. So Nicolay is actually the same shoe as Grishko. If you go out to different parts of the world, then it's still gonna be called Grishko, but just in the United States, it's going to be called Nicolay. There was some issues with the name. Yeah, the licensing and all of that. However, the shoes are the same. They're coming from the same factory. They're using the same material. And the only thing that's different is that the stamp on the point shoe is going to be called Nicolay. So I'm gonna be talking about four different models. I might be a little kooky, and that's mostly because I'm starting to have imaginary friends because I've been alone for so long. All right, let's get started. So the first shoe that I wanna talk about is the Grishko 2007. This is really the original shoe that made Grishko super popular. It's very versatile and a lot of people can wear it and it's super comfortable and a beautiful shoe. Um, a lot of shoes that came out after the 2007 have been a spinoff of it. Um, they just changed a couple different specs on the different shoes, but pretty much very similar to 2007. It's a very high, cut in the fabric. So there's a lot of fabric on the side and on the heel. People who like to have a little bit more of a shoe um, is really good for that. The box shape of this shoe is pretty tapered and a lot of people like it just because of the look of it. When it's tapered, it makes your legs look a little bit longer and a little bit prettier. A lot of people just like that look, but function wise, if you have really tapered toes or if you're really narrow and you tend to slip around in your point shoes, it's a really good box shape for that. The taper of the box actually makes the tip of the point shoe or the platform of the shoe quite small. So if you have trouble balancing, um, it might be, a challenge for you but it's also really great for rotation if you have a smaller platform because there's less surface area that you need to uh, worry about in terms of the shank um, it's a three-quarter shank so it's hard all the way up around the waist seam and then it gets softer in the back quarter of it so um, all you have to do is just kind of bend that last part It'll already be three-quartered for you um, I really like this shoe because um, even though it's shaped really tapered, a lot of people can wear it. So it's quite versatile, even though the shape is very sharp. Um, and that's why Grishka did so well with them because a lot of people can wear it. The next version of the 2007 was the Grishko Nova. The Nova is very similar to the 2007, but with just a couple of different things. One of the things that I didn't love about the Grishko 2007 was that the fabric is higher. That's personal preference, but for me, um, I really like a lower side just because it shows off the feet a little bit more. The 2007 had some complaints about being too noisy and that's because of the type of glue that they use. So for the Nova, what they did was they used a different glue that's a little bit lighter. So it's a little bit more lightweight and it's a little bit quieter and also it's slightly padded right here where you land your jumps. Um, the shape is very similar. It's still very tapered, but it has a slightly wider platform, so it's a little bit easier to balance in. Uh, the fabric is cut a little bit lower on the side and on the heel so that it shows off your feet a little bit more, and it kept the three-quarter shank so it still bends right there on the side. So overall, pretty similar shoe. A couple of different features that makes the shoe a little bit more moldable, it's a little bit quieter and it shows off your feet just a little bit more. The next shoe is the Allure or the Dream Point. So again, this has two different names depending on where you purchase them, but it's basically the same shoe. Again, the similar shape as the 2007, so it's still the pretty tapered box, but it is very pre-arched right here. So it almost looks like a seven. I've talked about this before um, in a different 
point to your review, but this pre-arch right here, it helps you get over your box a little bit better. So if you're in the 2007 or the Nova and you find it difficult for you to get over your shoes, but if you wear something too soft, it breaks too quickly, this might be the answer for you because it's just a different shape and it pushes you over to the end of the platform right here, but it doesn't break. Um, as quickly as like a softer shoe. They use slightly different material on this shoe. Again, it's a little bit more upgraded than the 2007 or the Nova because it, they use this really, really soft fabric on the inside. It's like really comfortable and cushy. Some people don't like it because they like to torture themselves, but it is a little bit softer and then does have that little cushion at the end. It's just a dense foam, so it's not like a gel that pushes back at you. Um, that's really comfortable. The main feature that I really like about the Dream Point is that it is really pre-arched, like I mentioned. All of the, the shoes that I'm mentioning today, it's already three-quartered, so you can bend it if you wish, but this one in particular already comes in that like really sharp bend so it's really easy to get over on your box but if you have weaker ankles i notice that it is a little bit more difficult for you to be supported in this shoe so if you have problems with wobbly ankles then um, this might be a little bit of a challenge for you so be careful with that the last point I want to talk to you about today is uh, the Smart Point. And I have to be honest with you, I don't know this shoe as well just because we haven't had it for a long time and then we stopped fitting point shoes um, because of the quarantine. But what I noticed about this shoe is that it is very lightweight. So they're using a type of glue that is very malleable and very soft and very comfortable. I did notice that the shape of the shoe is actually a little bit different than the other three models. So it doesn't follow the same 2007 shape. So even though it is quite tapered, the platform is much wider and it almost has like this pretty heart-shaped box. It is a little bit wider and more generous in the box, it's a little bit roomier in this shoe. And what I really like about this shoe is this little swoop that they did. So it's lower on the waist seam and then it comes up higher in the heel. This is a custom that a lot of professionals do anyway. They cut down the sides and then they bring up the heel a little bit more so that it grips onto your heel a little bit better. But I really like that shape. Just looking at the shoe, I think it's such a pretty shoe. And I'm really excited to fit more with these, but I think the sizing is a little bit different than the other shoes. So most Grishko point shoe models or Nicolet point shoe models are available in sizes one to nine, and the, the widths are from one to five. So it has a pretty big range of sizes. And um, even within the different models in the same brand, they could have different sizing. So you definitely want to get fitted for these. Overall, I think this shoe is just so well made. They do an amazing job and the quality is just really beautiful. I'm a big fan of this company. If you guys have any questions about these shoes, uh, let me know. And if you want me to do any more pointy reviews, let me know what you're curious about because we're all stuck in here together. Stay safe. Bye guys.